Microfilaments, also known as actin filaments, is the topic of today's video. Welcome to my channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis. Let's continue our series on biology and let's get started. Cytoskeleton is the skeleton of your cell because cyto means cell and even your cells need some support. In the previous lecture, I've told you that the most abundant thing in your cell is water. The second most abundant is protein. We have two types, structural proteins and functional proteins. Cytoskeleton is an example of a structural protein. Definition of the cytoskeleton, a network of fibrillar proteins organized into filaments known as microfilaments and tubules known as microtubules. Cytoskeleton, structural proteins, fibrillar protein network, synthesized in the ribosome because it's a protein organized into tubules or filaments it will determine the shape of the cell they form by the process of polymerization from monomers into polymers the aid in cell division help in cell movement etc also they form a track or a bridge for organelles to move on and here are the functions of the cytoskeleton, provides structure involved in muscle contraction and it provides tracks, cytokinesis, cell signaling, it segregates chromosomes during cell division and provides template for cell membrane construction. Eukaryotic cells has three types of cytoskeleton, microfilaments, microtubules or intermediate filaments. Microfilaments are made of actin, microtubules they have tubulin, we have two types of tubulin, alpha and beta. Microtubules will form cilia, flagella, and centrioles. Intermediate filaments, they have they have, are different types depending on the specific tissue. That's why the definition of cytoskeleton, network of fibrillar proteins organized into filaments and tubules. The structure of actin filaments is very straightforward. So we have G actin monomers combining together to form G actin polymer. These polymers combine together to form the famous actin filament. The actin filament is a double helix, do not forget that. Monomer into polymer into actin filament. What are the functions of actin filaments? Okay, we need help of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of your cell. They provide tracks for movement, they aid in muscle contraction, cytokinesis, which is cell movement, intracellular transport or intracellular trafficking not to be confused with human trafficking which is evil pinocytosis and phagocytosis together we call them endocytosis so what's the difference pinocytosis is ingestion of minute small particles phagocytosis on the other hand is ingestion of large particles and they will help in cell division by forming these nice cleavage furrows these cleavage furrows are formed of microfilaments. So if this is the cell and it's going to divide, actin myosin ring will form at the center and they will form this kind of furrow or indentation or invagination into the cell and then the cell will separate into two different cells like this. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, and please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.